This course is brought to you by AppyPy as part of our Academy series. In this video, I want to introduce you to the keyword research tool from Sensor Tower. And again, this is super optional because it's a paid tool. You can get a lot of this information or at least approximate this information with free strategies that I show you. So in this case, keyword research, what we're going to do is look at, for example, I entered the word startup. I can enter the word business or whatever. So for the word startup, you see they're showing you the top apps for startups and then few points of information that are interesting. I'll make this a little bigger. Last update. You can see the apps that are not getting updated. 16 months, 14 months. That just kind of means that it's a little bit dead and probably they're going to be easy to jump over. So those are sort of like, you can tell you, oh, like this probably easy to rank higher than them eventually because they're just neglected. After that, what you want to look at is the ratings. So you have the all time ratings and then the ratings for the current release. See like the first guys, right? The Kickstarter, of course, they're a huge, huge billion dollar company. So they've got a lot of ratings they're accumulating quickly, which tells us it's going to be extremely hard to jump over them. Same thing with these guys, 34 ratings in the last one, but the, some of the other ones, they don't get a lot of ratings. So they're going to be easy to jump over or in the last 16 months, these guys got 10 ratings. So they're kind of like a, almost a dead, almost like a dead app, not much activity. So you can tell a lot about the competitors, but then you can see, oh, like Business Insider and Meetup are ranking here and they're big, big companies. So you can basically get a approximation for how competitive that environment will be. Let's say I do like fitness and it's going to give me information about these apps. So you got this first one, Said this from Apple, I actually don't know this activity tool, but last update five months ago, and they seem to have very little going on. I don't know why they're showing it as the top apps. So it's this tool, I don't know why, I don't really not familiar, but the other apps really look good, right? Workout for women, five star rated, recently updated, incredible number of reviews, super hard to beat. Same thing, three day fitness, a lot of reviews, recently updated, all that. So you see same, 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 very, very strong apps. So you can see, oh my God, this is going to be a hard keyword. Now they do give keyword suggestions. So related queries, like, so maybe you want to start looking for more niche keywords. They give you related keywords and they give you trending, like what's popular now. Although the, the Candy Crush, that's not really related to fitness. So the related queries is really where it's helpful. So you can click more and they give you keyword ideas. Then you go, maybe you click on this and they give you more specific apps for that, for app workouts. And then they give you more specific keywords and you can navigate and navigate and navigate and collect long tail keywords that might be easier to rank for. But as you can see, even the long tail keyword, like app workout, it's not easy to rank for because see all of these apps, they're super competitive, incredible number of reviews, an incredible number and a lot of recent reviews and they all get updated a lot except you know for these two but even so these two they look like they don't need updating because they're doing really well it's a five-star app they're, they're fantastic apps so really competitive as you can see so this is a way you can get more keywords but also gauge how competitive is, is it going to be really and if you don't want to pay for sensor tower again the other option for you is basically just search these keywords in the app stores and then click through each app that comes up and see like are they tremendous gigantic apps that have huge huge numbers of ratings and you don't need to know details about a gorilla you just know okay that's a gorilla that's an elephant like these are equivalent to gorillas they're going to be super hard to compete it doesn't matter if a gorilla has 20 million downloads or 21 million downloads because you know it's too competitive <laughs> so you don't need incredible level of precision to tell whether it's going to be really hard to rank for or perhaps realistic to rank for so you can approximate it literally by looking in the app stores and researching your competitors that way too